Our story begins a very long time ago, more than 55 million years in the past. This is when the first small ancestors of today's hippos, kind of like small pigs, wandered around the lush forests and swamps in Africa. They were really tiny, less than 1.5 feet tall and weighing less than 100 pounds. It might have seemed strange that these little creatures would become some of the biggest land mammals on Earth, but over a really, really long time, they grew big. These small hippo ancestors got bigger, and they changed a bit to live in the water. Their noses moved higher on their faces so they could breathe while mostly underwater. Their eyes and ears went to the top of their heads so they could see and hear better while the rest of their bodies stayed hidden underwater. They also had big toes that spread wide when they walked in soft mud, so their big bodies wouldn't sink into the riverbed. About 20 million years ago, ancient groups of hippos were as big as today's pygmy hippos. By 4 million years ago, during the Ice Ages, some of them weighed almost 4 tons, like small elephants. Then around 200,000 years ago, the common hippo we know today, Hippopotamus amphibious, appeared in Africa, and it's about the size we know and love now. Today these modern hippos are huge, around 1.5 tons and over 13 feet long. They still love the water just like their ancestors. Every morning they come out of the rivers and lakes they live in to eat grass and plants, almost 150 pounds every day. Their big size helps them keep water in their bodies during dry seasons. They even have a special sweat-like substance on their skin to protect them from the sun when they lounge around during the day. When they're not eating or sleeping, hippos spend time with their friends and family in groups called pods. A pod usually has about 10 to 30 hippos, and they live in an area near a river or lake. The leader of the pod is a big male, and he makes sure everyone follows the rules. He can be tough, but even the tough guys have a soft side. Moms take care of their babies, and other females babysit. Even the big male leaders get a little sentimental when they're trying to impress a female. These love rituals are important because they help hippos stay close and organized. Life for young hippos is not all fun and games. They have to learn good manners quickly, or they might get hurt by older hippos enforcing rules with their sharp teeth. Even though hippos can be tough to outsiders, they work together to watch out for each other. They even take turns protecting each other's backs when they sleep in crowded pools. This close-knit community is how hippos survive in tough African habitats with lions, crocodiles, and hunters. But now their success is causing new problems. Hippos used to live all over Africa, in almost every river lake, and wetland from the Cape to Cairo, covering over 3 million square miles. But in just a few decades, their population has decreased by more than 90%. Before we continue don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you're the first to know when a new video comes out. Now let's talk about how biologists estimate that only 115,000 to 130,000 hippos are left, struggling in fragmented waterways and isolated pods. They face problems like poaching, pollution, and more droughts, and their numbers are going down. Without help for hippos and their homes, entire local populations might disappear while we're still alive. A sad event in November 2022, called the Hippo Highway Incident, showed how much danger hippos are in. In Kenya a big drought dried up the Ueso Nairo River where over 100 hippos lived for a long time. As their life-giving water disappeared, hungry herds had to leave their protected areas to find food and water. But when these wandering hippos went into areas with farms, new problems started. People got scared that the hippos would damage their crops and animals, so they attacked them. Some even killed weak hippos for meat and ivory teeth to sell. In just two weeks, over 10% of the local hippos died in clashes with humans. This incident showed a bigger problem in Africa. 
According to the United Nations Environment Program, climate change and extreme weather are threatening important water sources that many animals depend on. Droughts have dried up more than 70% of the continent's wetlands since the 1990s. And models predict hotter, drier times in the future because of rising global CO2 emissions. These worrying facts made Kenya's Wildlife Service take urgent action after the hippo deaths on the highway. They are now trying to move hippo pods to safer places before their river homes disappear. But catching hippos is not easy and can be dangerous. To move them, vets use special darts to make them sleepy, and then they put them in trucks or planes to take them to new homes. It's stressful for the hippos, and some don't survive the journey. But if they stay they face starvation and dying from drought, so the effort continues despite the challenges. These relocation efforts show how climate change is a big problem for both animals and people in Africa. The Hippo Highway incident in Kenya was an emergency for nature, but it also affected people who were worried about their farms and families. The only way to solve these problems is for people, wildlife supporters, and governments to work together and find solutions that help everyone. Luckily, everyone can help by learning about the challenges hippos face. Being aware means taking action, whether it's supporting park rangers, protecting habitats, or promoting smarter climate policies that help all living things in ecosystems. With uncertain times ahead for families worldwide, maybe we all have a reason to ask for better changes that help people and animals alike. Our species has a lot to thank the sturdy hippo ancestors for. They lived around ancient lakes and rivers for millions of years when our early relatives were still figuring out life. Hippos helped create habitats that were important for both wildlife and early humans as our families spread across Africa. Now because of ignorance and greed, we're in danger of losing these marshland friends in just a few decades. We can't fix the past mistakes of expanding industries, but if we care about the earth and all its inhabitants, we can change our ways. In a world where people are the center, we need to understand nature better. When we connect with stories about how animals think, feel, and struggle in environments affected by humans, it helps us change our values and the way we live. That's why news about hippos in popular media is important for nature. Showing hippos as creatures with feelings facing tough times makes people more aware and supportive of changes that protect fragile environments where hippos live. Every person who seizes the opportunity to care is like an ambassador, guiding everyone's attention to disappearing landscapes around the world. Fiona, the baby hippo from the Cincinnati Zoo, and orphan pygmy hippos Jessica and Hunter show us that animals are like friends we can understand. They act a bit like us and have their own value. People all over are learning about animal rights and how we should take care of them. Many people enjoy watching baby hippos and their stories online. This makes us happy and helps with protecting animals. Virtual experiences let us see how hippos live, making our lives more interesting. We see hippos as cool creatures with behaviors like playing, protecting, and being strong or sensitive. Even with changes in weather and new problems, hippos stay relaxed and enjoy snacks, like their ancestors did. We can understand their determination to stay calm during tough times, which is a lot like us. Things change, but our natural instincts, passed down from our ancestors, keep going into the future. Like hippos settling in pools every night, people around the world feel similar at the end of each day. Even if hippos are unsure about things, they care about the people and relationships that are important to them, just like we do. Simple bonds last, even when living together gets tricky. Having good relationships is important for happy lives, whether you're a hippo or a person. The common hippo is like a symbol, showing up in different places affected by humans. It reminds us of our history and the choices we have to make now. You don't need to be an expert to get this lesson. 
All it takes is understanding and caring to see how humans and hippos are connected. People all over the world feel sad when they see starving hippos being hunted and forced out of their homes where their families lived for a long time. Big lakes and rivers are getting smaller because we use them too much and don't take good care of the air. Now disappearing waterways put amazing creatures at risk, creatures that inspired holy stories and art for centuries. For many people, the mass death of hippos is a sad ending because the environment is getting worse. But even in this sad situation, there's hope. Earth's elements, like rain and thawing mountaintops, help hippos by flooding rivers. Surviving hippos gather before moving to safer places beyond continental coastlines. Rain comes back helping thirsty hippos. Flooded waters carry groups of hungry hippos saved in big migrations, just like ancient stories and records tell us about arcs. Maybe, finally the Earth wakes up and sees life-affirming values and warning signs it ignored for a long time because of convenience and greed. Hippos used to be everywhere, but technology's damage has become a curse, harming the Earth more than before. Mother hippos crying for their dying children make us feel something deep inside. Intense problems bring people together, going beyond differences to find sensible ways to cooperate for everyone's benefit in shared homes. Perhaps hippos guide us like spirit totems in these hard times of trouble for nature and uncertainty ahead. Their message, timeless and important, is that we should stick together when things get tough or we'll all disappear separately. We need to join science and spirit to make things better for humans, just like hippos wish for. People who lead the way today might become heroes tomorrow if everyone follows the examples of hippos, showing paths to understanding what matters most, making the future safe for our children and grandchildren. But first, we need to care and control ourselves to keep the environment stable for all the life that depends on it. A new golden rule could show humanity kneeling to support natural systems that have helped us since the first people learned to live with hippos. As we wrap up this short history of hippos, we want to hear from you. Drop a comment below sharing the first time you saw a hippo or any fascinating wildlife moment. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content here on Earth Plus. Click on the next video to keep exploring the wonders of life on Earth or dive into our playlist for a stream of curiosity. Thanks for joining us on this video, and until next time, have a good day.